really like crappy job in their 20s. A terrible job in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, not, not as many as I thought. Okay, some of you got through not having to have a crappy job. Well, I had uh, a crappy job. I was a receptionist. I worked as a receptionist. And my one respite from this crap ass job was, uh, was to go window shopping during my lunch break. And, um, and I would just love to dream about buying different outfits and things like that. And, with, and I was not making a lot of money at this job. It was as a receptionist. But one day, I saw this perfect dress. It was a Calvin Klein number, and it was this liquid blue silk, like midnight silk. Yeah, it was so slinky. It's the kind of dress that you want to be wearing when you're um, on the arm of a man in a tuxedo and you're walking out of the Met, and you bump into your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> that eat your heart out loser kind of dress. <laughs> and it was $150 on final clearance, and it was a Calvin Klein size eight. Oh. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Let me break this down for you. I have size 16 boobs, size 14 waist, and size 16 ass. There is no amount of math or common sense that should get me into this dress. But I was feeling lucky for some reason. So I take the dress and I just have to like suck in my gut a little bit and I zip it up and I am once again reborn as a Calvin Klein size eight. And I, I mean, you know, I'd been working out and in, so truthfully and, and watching what I was eating a little bit. Um, so I was like, okay, this dress is perfect. I'm gonna buy it. So I buy the dress, and then of course I go to Panda Express for some orange chicken. Um, and then, uh, and then I can't, can't wait to come home and show my sister this dress. So I go to put on the dress, and it, it feels a little tighter this time. But I managed to, to get it on, and so I come out and I say, "So, what do you think?" And she says, "You know what a snake." Swallows a rat. I can't believe I did the thing that I often do where I suck my gut so far in that I actually think that I'm that skinny and the, and I can't return this dress. It's final clearance, no returns. It's $150, which is like three weeks of salary for me at this time. And my sister said, you know what, why don't we just go to the mall and get some of those girdles, those, those, those Spanx. So I was like, okay. So we go to the lingerie section of Macy's and I'm looking at the different Spanx, like the biker short Spanx and the all over body girdle Spanx. And, and the saleswoman comes by and she's like, oh, those will really help with your pooch and your rear. <laughs> Thanks, you want to point out any more of my flaws? Before I go try this one, thank you. <laughs> So I get a bunch of different girdle options and I go into the dressing room. My sister comes in with me and I try on the biker shorts first, but all that does is push that rat further up. So it's like this melting ice cream cone up here. So I decide that that's not the way to go. Um, so I put on one of the body girdles. So I, so I slip that on and then I slip on my dress and it zips up like a dream. And I'm once again a Calvin Klein size eight. Woo, woo. So I take off the dress, and um, my sister leaves. She's going to do a little bit of shopping, and I start to uh, start to pull up the, the uh, pull up the Spanx. And I'm just thinking about how hungry I am because I haven't eaten dinner yet. And, and now with Spanx, I have more room, so I can. Eat. <laughs> so I'm pulling it up, pulling it up. And then I realize, like, I'm about here, and it's getting harder to pull up. And, and I'm stuck <laughs> in this space. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, I've known fear in my life. <laughs> my father makes Tony Soprano look like a teddy bear. Um, I was almost decapitated at a, in a mosh pit at an Alanis Morissette concert. Um, and I've had several car accidents, all of them my fault. Um, but being stuck in Spanx was pure terror. <laughs> and it was the first time in my adult life that I realized that I was claustrophobic. <laughs> So I thought, okay, I just have to find my phone. I just have to call my sister.
monster, so I started to, to, to go around, but, but I couldn't see anything. Even if I could see something, how would I, I, I mean, I couldn't see the buttons to call her. So I was just batting around that, that like, a tra like a raccoon trapped in a dumpster. And I just was starting to lose consciousness. And then I hear a voice, hey, is everything okay in there? It's a sales lady. And I said, yeah, just peachy. <laughs> Because I was not about to let her come in here and see me with my pooch and my rear hanging out. That was not an option. You know, I would rather die. In fact, I was probably going to die. I was, couldn't breathe. I was losing all hope. And I realized this is what the Chilean miners must have felt. Like. And just as I'm about to lose consciousness, I smell something. It's a Cinnabon. <laughs> and then I hear my sister on the, outs uh, on the other side of the door chewing. <laughs> What's taking you so long? Please help me. <laughs> what? And just get the hell in here and help me. And so finally she comes in and she, after laughing her ass off for about five minutes and telling me I look like Winnie the Pooh when he's trying to get the honey. <laughs> She finally braces herself against the side of the wall and pulls me out of the Spanx. And, she, and I'm just relieved. I'm sitting on the floor in a heap, surrounded by the dress and, and all of my clothes. And she says, didn't you read the warning label? Underwear shouldn't come with a warning label. And it says, yeah, it says uh, you're supposed to step into and out of Spanx due to its patented compression technology. You're never supposed to pull it over your head. I'm like, well, screw Spanx. <laughs> and screw being a Calvin Klein size eight. I picked up the dress and what little was left of my dignity, and I went with my sister to get a Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs>